You're watching The Early Bird. Good morning, Farmington. Today is Friday, February 5th. My name is Katie Cater, bringing you your morning news. Students, before we jump into the news, we would like to ask you to please do your part in keeping us in school. As you know, COVID cases are on the rise, so we need to do our due dil diligence in ensuring that we stay socially distanced from others, wear your masks, and wash and sanitize your hands often. There are a lot of benefits to us being on site for learning, so let's do our part and keep it this way. Today for lunch, we will be having grilled cheese, cheeseburger on a bun, potato puffs, romaine salad, fruit, fruit juice, and milk. Due to COVID protocols across the district, the high school office will not be accepting Valentine deliveries this year. Any deliveries will be refused. We have received a message from the Department of Health and Arkansas Department of Education that we will not be able to host prom for spring 2021. We apologize again for not being able to just host such a memorable event. Again, we will include as many of our planned events as possible this year. Stay positive and go cards. The state ACT will be given to juniors on February 23rd for free. Juniors that do not want to take the ACT will need to see Mr. Williams or the counselors to fill out a waiver form. February 23rd will be a digital day for 10th and 12th graders while the juniors take the ACT. Ms. Kirkendall is scheduling some virtual college visits for that day. You must attend the virtual visit to be counted present. Ms. Kirkendall will post more information soon to your class of Google Classroom sites. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will meet every Friday morning at 7.30 in Miss Selby's room, D211. Any upcoming junior or senior who has a job should consider taking Miss Skate's internship class next year. For more information, grab a packet from outside her room, D101. If you have questions, then email Miss Skates or stop in. Students, are you interested in an internship with NASA this summer? Texas Space Grant Consortium and University of Texas at Austin will be hosting this internship involving Earth and Space Science. If you would like more details, please see Ms. Murphy or Ms. H. Robinson. Have you ordered your yearbook yet? If not, your time is running out. You have until February 12th to get it ordered. The cost is $45 and there will not be a lot of extra copies ordered. You can order at the link listed on the screen on our high school website or the links listed on social media. The extra copies that are ordered will be $60 and will be the first come first serve. So to guarantee your copy, order before February 12th. With more information on this year's great yearbook, here is Farm Cards News, Cooper Garden Hire on the yearbook in the works. Today I'm going to be teaching you all about the yearbook and how it's made. I also have an interview with one of the students who is working on it. Why is the yearbook going to be so good this year like we hear in the news? Um, because we have a staff that's dedicated to making the yearbook sound good and look good and we also want to connect the student body. Did you all run into any problems because of COVID or anything else that may have caused the yearbook to have a little trouble this year? We don't have as many pictures as we would last year and we also did not have enough money from last year from selling yearbooks so we have to do a lot more fundraisers this year to get more money. During my time with the yearbook, I learned it takes a combination of great editing skills and ability to find pictures and also working with color combinations to make a yearbook look great. Thanks, Cooper. We will now take it to, over to Clayton Williamson with a story on Farmington Ace team as they start their 2021 season with hopes of winning another state championship. Even with many major changes this year, the Farmington Ace team continues to compete with only a few changes from the normal game structure. So obviously one of the things we have to do is we can't meet in person, so we have to do our matches through virtual Zoom, and we have an automated buzzer system. We only compete uh, two teams at a time. We're not going to have a tournament or anything like that. It's basically accumulated points over four matches, so definitely a different format. Last year, the Ace team won their third championship game in a row. This put them in second place for the most Ace championships won with seven, and this year they strive to add one more to that number. Well, I think the, the rest of the A season is going to hopefully go very well for us. We have a group of students that's very dedicated and we are we're just here. We're ready to get results and hopefully win the whole thing. The A team currently has 93 points this season, which puts them in first place overall. We wish the A team good luck for the rest of their season and hope that they can pull off yet another championship. For Farm Cards News, I'm Clayton Williamson. Back to you guys in the news. Thanks, Clayton. With Valentine's Day fast approaching, it's time to start thinking about letting your crush know how you feel. You can send them an orange crush soda and serenade from Honors Choir for only $5. Pick the song that says how you feel about the person. Lean on me, ain't no mountain high enough, for the longest time, or like I'm gonna lose you. 
An orange crush can be sent to anyone on the high school campus and sent anonymously. You have until Monday, February 8th to purchase from a choir member at lunch and deliveries will be made Wednesday, February 10th. Life decisions will always take place throughout someone's life. Sometimes what might not be taking place at the current point in your life may not be the end all be all. Here from Cart's own Josh Cartwright with one way that a high school student athlete can stay involved with their love of the game past high school and potentially college. For many kids, the thought of playing sports forever is a lifelong dream. However, the reality is there will come a point in time that physically playing the sport will end, which means having something to fall back on will become a necessity. One route that is becoming increasingly popular to fall back on is broadcast journalism. Um, obviously, being an athlete, I knew that at some point in time, or a student athlete, I should say, at some point in time that um, athletics, my time in athletics would run out. However, the sports route isn't the only option. Kids who have dreamed of being on TV may also get involved in other aspects of broadcast journalism by becoming news anchors or meteorologists. Positions in the field are numerous. My earlier days in the early 2000s, being in the industry to teach that to young, younger aspiring uh, kids who want to potentially go into broadcast journalism. It's a great field. Uh, it allows you to stay active if you're a student athlete, stay active in the sport. Um, if you want to go the news route or the weatherman route, what have you, the ultimate goal is just to give a solid foundation to students who aspire to be in this realm of field. It takes a lot of work to be successful in the broadcast field, just as any other field of work. Dean, who has a lot of experience, talks about what it takes to be in the field. It takes energy. It takes time. It takes commitment. Uh, the commitment being learning how to do the job, how to, how to perfect it um, the best to your ability with camera work, shooting, video, editing, music, reporting. Um, but uh, it, it takes quite a bit, but it's nothing that anybody who aspires to do so can't accomplish. Now that we've explored the broadcast option, you're one step closer in making an educated decision on your life decisions after high school. Who knows, maybe you'll end up in a cool broadcast room such as this. This has been Josh Carwright with Farm Cards News. Back to you guys. Thanks, Josh. Teachers, if you have any other announcements I would like to have added, please contact or email Mr. Dean or fill out the Google form that was sent out via email. Well, that's going to do it for us in the news today. Up next, we have Josh Carright and the Farm Cards Weather Center with a look at your weather this weekend. Have a fantastic Friday, Farmington, and remember, wear your masks. Thanks, Katie. Good morning, Farmington Cardinals. My name is Josh Carright with a look at your four-day weekend weather. Today, as you all know, started off a little brisk this morning, but it will turn a little warmer as the day goes on, with a high of 50 degrees. We have a 2% chance of rain and we'll have an overnight low of 32. Tomorrow will be almost a, a repeat of today with a high of 50 and an overnight low of 27. The biggest difference between today and tomorrow is the chance of precipitation increases to 30%. Sunday, we are looking at a high of 44 and an overnight low of 25 with a 30% chance of precipitation. Monday, however, depending on which model you look at, is a little sketchy. We will have a high of 38 that day and an overnight low of 22. However, there is a 33% chance of snow that day. With a glance at your weekend weather in the Farm Cards Weather Center, I'm Josh Cartwright. Have a fantastic Friday, Farmington. And now, here is Brody Hill with the latest and greatest in sports from the Card Center. Thanks, Josh. My name is Brody Hill in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Both the girls' and boys' basketball teams return to action tonight when they travel to Gravit to take on the Lions in conference action play. The JV girls will start the action off at 4, to be followed by the JV boys, varsity girls, and finally the varsity boys. The Lady Cardinals will also be in action Saturday evening to play a makeup conference game against the Huntsville Eagles. The JV girls will start the night against the Eagles at 6 and will be followed by the varsity girls at 7. Some seasons have passed while others are about to start, including Farmington's newest addition. Farm Card Sports' own Ashley Klotzbeaker is here to tell us how Farmington soccer came to be. Hello Farmington, my name is Ashley Klotzbeaker and I'm here to tell you all about Farmington's newest sports edition, the soccer teams. Last year, the soccer teams were started up by Coach Tanner Fowl. Before COVID shut down the season, the girls were able to play a total of three games while the boys were only able to play one. I'm here with Coach Fowl, coach of both the soccer teams here at Farmington High School. So Coach, what was it like starting a new team? 
There's a lot of work going into it. We're just excited to get it going. What was the process in starting up these teams? Well, a lot of it uh, at the very beginning was just a lot of fundraising. You, you need money to start a program and buy equipment. The girls ended with a record of 0-2-1 and the boys 1-0. This year, both teams are hoping to have a season full of games along with records full of wins. Back to you in the news. Thanks, Ashley. Now we'll turn our attention to Farmington football. Even though they are in their offseason, Farmington has hired J.R. Eldridge to take over the helm of head football coach. With more on this, here is FarmCard's own Lance Williams. Farmington announces new coach, Coach J.R. Eldridge. Getting to know our student athletes, getting to know um, more about them, and, and just uh, beginning a process uh, for our football program uh, to uh, to really do two things. Number one, uh, we want to we want to make sure we're making a difference in each other's lives, and then number two, we want to compete for and win conference and state championships. So, um, I feel like I'm just looking forward to the process of accomplishing those two uh, those two purposes in our football program. We want to make a, a positive difference in each other's lives, and then number two, we want to compete for and win conference and state championships. And to me, that's the big picture. That's the big picture goal of our football program. And then we want to be a football program that represents the following six core values. Uh, number one is respect. We want to respect everybody who we come in contact with. We want to be committed. Uh, committed to what we do. We want to believe in each other. We want to believe in ourselves and we want to believe in our coaching staff. Um, and then the last three kind of go together. It's vicious, violent, and relentless. So vicious means we're going to attack our responsibilities. Violent means we're going to do it with excessive force. And then relentless means we're going to do it over and over and over again. Basically, we will have, uh, we're going to be a, a very balanced offense. Uh, we're going to be able to, uh, to get in multiple formations. Um, have a balanced attack as far as run and pass. Uh, defensively, we're a 4-3 four, four, multiple team um, that can move into uh, our different fronts seamlessly. And then uh, in special teams, we're going to try to create an advantage in every special teams that we have. Thanks, Lance. Well, that is going to do it for us in the Card Center today. Have a fantastic Friday, Farmington, and remember, wear your mask.